How goes it now? He looks gentler than he did. He said he was trying incontinent. He asked me to come in to go to bed, so he bade me to dismiss you. Dismiss me? It was his bidding. Therefore, good Amelia, give me my nightly wear, wear, wearing and adieu. You must not displease him. I would have never seen him. So not I might love doth to approve him. His stubbornness, his checks, his frowns, pre thee to unpin me, have the grace in his favor. I have laid those sheets you bade me on the bed. All's one good, good fate, how foolish all our minds. If I do die before thee, pray thee, shroud me in those same sheets. Come, come, you talk. My mother had a maid called Barbary. She was in love, and he she loved proved mad. It did forsake her. She had a song named Willow, an old thing, twice, but it expressed her fortune. She died singing it. The same song this night will not leave from my mind. I have much to do. But I do hang my head to one side and sing, just as poor Barbary, pray thee dispatch. Shall I fetch your nightgown? No, unpin me here. This, lo this Lodov Lodovico is a proper man. A very handsome man. He speaks well. I know a lady in Venice that would walk barefoot to Palestine just to get a touch of his nether lip. <laughs> <laughs> the poor soul sat sign by the sycamore tree, seeing all the green willow. Her hand on her bosom, her head on her knee, sing willow, willow, willow. The fresh streams went by her and murmured her moans, sing willow, willow, willow. Her salt tears swam from her and softened the stones, lebedees, sing willow, willow, willow. Pre thee he, thee he'll come along, sing all oh, the green will let nobody blame him his scorn i approve nay that's not next hark who knocks it is the wind i call my love false love but what said he then sing willow 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 if i court more women i couch with more men so get he gone good night eyes do itch doth bone weeping it's neither here nor there. I have heard it so. Oh, these men, these men. Dost thou conscience think? Tell me, Amelia. Will there be any woman that do such abuse their husband in such gross kind? There be some such, no question. Dost win in this such deed for the whole world? Why, would you not? No, and not heavenly light. Neither I by this heavenly light, but I might as well do it in the dark. <gasps> Wouldn't thou do it for the whole world? The world's a huge thing. It's a great price for a small vice. In troth, I think not wouldn't not. In troth, I think I would. And when I had done, Mary, I would not do such a thing for gowns, nor petticoats, nor measures of the lawn, nor caps. But no petty exposition, but for the whole world. Would you not make your husband a cuckold to make him a monarch? Pursue me, I wish not do such wrong for the whole world. Why, the wrong is a wrong, but I the world, and having the world for your labor, tis a wrong in your world, and may quickly make it a right. I don't think there's any such woman. Yes, a dozen. And as many as the vantage would. So are the world that they played for, but I do think it's their husband's fault if wives do fall. Say that they slack their duties or pour arch treasures into foreign laps or else break out into peevish jealousies, throwing restraint upon us or say that they strike us or scant our former having in despite why we have galls and though we have some grace, yet we have some revenge. Let husbands know that their wives have sense like them. They see and smell and have palates for both sweet and sour as husbands have. What is it they do when they change us for others? Is it sport? I think it is. And doth affection breed it? I think it doth. Is it frailty that us errs? I think it is too. And have we not affections, desires for frailty, as men have? Then let us know, use us well, else let them know the ills we do are the ills they instruct us to do. Good night, good night. God me such use to not send bad from bad, but bad from men. <laughs>